Welcome to the comparing decimals video. So this is going to be an instructional video on how to compare decimals and then we will follow this up with a mastery check where you try some on your own to see if you have it down. Um, I highly suggest you check out the equivalent decimals instructional video on mastery check before moving on to comparing decimals. I dropped the links to those in the description. If you're, all if you're already familiar with equivalent decimals, then you should be good to go. But when I say the words equivalent decimals and you have no idea what that means, definitely check those videos out first and then come back to comparing decimals. So I put six numbers here and basically we're just gonna go through some examples and then you're gonna try some on your own. So number one here, we have 1 in 5 tenths and 1 in 45 hundredths. When we compare decimals, when we're first starting out, we're going to line up our decimals to make sure we're comparing these properly. Line up our decimals and that will line up all of our places for us. Now, after we line up our decimals, you should notice we're kind of offset a little bit. This one only, the top one only goes to the tenths and the bottom one goes to the hundredths. So after watching the equivalent decimals video or knowing what equivalent decimals are, you know you can add a zero or put a zero, placeholder zero, to the right of the five so both of our numbers go to the hundredths place. That's going to make it easier to compare and order when we get to ordering decimals. So now we both, so line up our decimals, put placeholder zeros in if necessary. Now we need to look left to right and compare our greatest valued place and work our way to the right to least valued place if we have things in common. So for example, let's look at our ones place. We have a one and we have a one. So we can't compare, they're the same there. So let's look at our tenths place. Can we compare this place? Yes, the five is greater than the four. Okay, so this is automatically greater. One and five tenths is greater than one and 45 hundredths. Now here's a common mistake here. I'm gonna rewrite them over here. Do not say one and 45 hundredths is greater than one and five tenths because it has more numbers. That doesn't matter when we get to decimals. You need to go left to right and go place by place. This tenths place holds more weight than anything to the right of it. So you go left to right. And then you should be able to say this comparison sentence from left to right. And you would read it 1 and 5 tenths is greater than 1 and 45 hundredths. So let's line up number 2 here. Let's line our decimals up. We have one, or I'm sorry, we have five hundredths compared to five tenths. Look left to right. You might know which one's greater right away, but you need to be able to explain why and in what place do you look in order to compare these. And then read the comparison sentence from left to right. So let's check here. Let's look left to right. We don't have any holes, so we can't compare that. Let's look at our next greatest valued place, which is the tenths. Can we compare this place? Obviously, a five in the tenths is greater than a zero in the tenths. So anything to the right of those places doesn't matter once we reach our first difference. And that's in the tenths place. So this five, five tenths is the greater number here. And you would read this five hundredths is less than five tenths. All right, let's line up number three. I'll line it up over here. 13 and 77 hundredths compared to 13 and 770 thousandths. So this is kind of like number one. They don't line up directly, so we are going to put a placeholder zero on the top one here so they both go to the thousandths. And you probably recognize that they're the same thing but let's go through our process here, left to right. Same in the tens, same in the ones, same in the tenths, same in the hundredths, same in the thousandths. So these two decimals are equal or equivalent. 
I'm going to rewrite them just for a common mistake here. It does not matter that this one has 770. It has more digits or more numbers than the top one. When we talk decimals, you need to go place by place and recognize that zeros to the right do not change the value of that number. So they are equivalent. That will come up again, so make sure you're, that's why I said you have to be familiar with equivalent decimals. All right, number four. Let's line them up. We got a bunch of nines in this one. And then we have one and one tenth. Now, I put number four for a reason, because when students are starting out, they say, oh, this one has a bunch of nines and it has a lot more numbers, so it's greater. Not true. You need to go through your process. Look left to right, going place by place. Can't compare holes, so let's check tenths. Oh, we have a zero compared to a one here. This number is greater because of the tenths place. Go place by place. So you would read that. One and nine are nine, wait, let me start over. One and 999 ten thousandths is less than one and one tenth. All right, let's do number five. Line them up, make sure we have these correct. And you should be able to explain why, which one of these two numbers is greater. Can't compare the holes, they're both fives. Ooh, it looks like we can compare, can compare the tenths place. And this four is greater. That makes the 45 hundredths greater than the 49 thousandths up there. It does not matter that this is a 49. This 45, is greater value because of that four in the tenths place. So you would read this one. Five and 49 thousandths is less than five and 45 hundredths. And this is another one where we should have put a placeholder zero here. And then we can see, oh, 49 thousandths, that's a lot less than 450 thousandths, right? So use those placeholder zeros. And then the last one, I'm going to write out. This is another common mistake I see. Ooh, this has a lot of nines. Look, let's look at the tenths place. A nine is greater than a zero, so it must be this one automatically. Does anyone see why it's not? the 999 always check your whole numbers first right this has a 3 in the whole number so it doesn't matter what this one has for a decimal right 3 holes is automatically greater than 2 holes go left to right so 3 and 100th is greater than 2 and 999 thousandths so line your decimals up, go left to right, use placeholder zeros if need be, and comparing decimals isn't too bad. So head over to the mastery check, and I have some over there that you are going to try on your own to see if you have it down. So see you at the mastery check. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and drop a comment if there's any material you'd like me to cover. Until next time, peace.